Many, many thanks to 5Q. Uh, also, a couple words from a couple of our other sponsors. I do want to uh, welcome up one of our sponsors from the American Bible Society, Kenny Jang, who is uh, trying to compete with me in colorful outfits today. But where did uh, where did he go? We're gonna he's gonna give us a short a short word. Here he is. Okay, look at this. Look at the robin's egg blue. I love it. Okay, thanks, Kenny. Well, good morning. Thank you to the NRB for hosting us today. Uh, my name is Kenny Jang. I'm here with the American Bible Society team um, talking to you about .bible. We've got a whole team here today to talk about internet domain names. Um, just a show of hands, who has a .com website out there today? What about .net, .org, .football, .cruises? Right, dot shoes. Well, today, I don't know if you know, hundreds of new top-level domain names have been opened up, and they're available, um, and they're being used to organize the internet um, so that you have short, memorable, trusted ways to get directly to the content that you need to go to today. And dot Bible is one of those options for churches and ministries that the American Bible Society has launched as an official internet registry. Um, just some samples of the available .bible partners today that have already launched is um, the United Bible Society has, is launching .bible domain names for over 6,000 different languages. So you'll get Spanish .bible, etc. cetera. Um, the Greek Orthodox Church has taken Greek Orthodox .bible for their domain, uh, denominational use. Uh, free .bible, simple, clean, guess who, you version. Um, why dot Bible? Wycliffe folks are, are doing that. Apologetics dot Bible. Audio dot Bible. Uh, faith comes by hearing, friends. Right. Um, easy, trusted, great ways to get directly to content about the Bible. Um, and the, one of the reasons I'm here today is that the American Bible Society has partnered with my team. I'm founder of a new website called Insta dot Bible. Um, one of the things that struck me recently is a stat that said 81% of Christian millennials, right, Christian millennials, in the last year have shared an explicit Bible verse on their social media channels. Now that means that millennials are not afraid of religion, they're not afraid of Jesus, they're not afraid of the Bible. They actually are publishing it for their friends and networks, non-believer friends, to actually see and consume. One of the things, though, is, I believe, we're just not speaking their language, right? We've gone from a Gutenberg culture to a Google culture. A Gutenberg culture to a Google culture. It means that we've gone from text to images, images to video. And so Insta.Bible, what we're trying to do is there's 33,000 verses in the Bible, and what we're doing is going verse by verse, chapter to chapter, and representing the entire Bible visually. Beautiful biblical art in social media form text over graphics, um, some video clips, et cetera. And so it's an ambitious project. We're gonna take, um, we've currently got about 1,500 verses in the library. We're, uh, every day we've got designers taking new portions of the Bible, um, creating Bible art so that the people of this generation and beyond can take it, consume it, curate it, share it with their social networks. Um, today we actually, actually have, um, a free download kit that we prepared just for you, the people here at NRB Exclusive. Uh, if you go to www.insta.bible slash NRB, we've prepared um, some infographics as well as some uh, quote cards, as we call them, that you can download, watermark with your own logos, freely use to share across your networks. We really want you to get this in the hands of other people. Insta.bible slash NRB. Notice there's no .com, .org, or anything else after that domain name. Um, so what can we do here today? I just want to flag that outside of this room behind you, we've got Scott Wintermark from the American Bible Society and the Dot .bible team here to talk to you today about so many of the different creative use cases that each of the organizations here that you represent have the ability to actually take the domain name out of your choice and utilize it for good. Um, you can also go to the official website, it's called www.get.bible, and you'll get more information about the process to register, uh, the process to get approved, and actually launching your own domain name. And then the last one is 
in the booth and exhibit hall, the American Bible Society has a beautiful booth, a um, bunch of the team members here. You can actually meet with some of the other marquee beta partners like myself to talk about Into That Bible. We've got apologetics.bible. Um, we've got some others as well here today um, for you to explore how we can use the internet to further the kingdom and share the Bible with your audiences. Thank you so much for your time today.